so here we are going to discuss about the solution for the chemistry exam in ntse 2022 the first 134th question the composition of duralumin alloy is dash uh, the first question of option is aluminium magnesium manganese and copper second option is aluminium magnesium copper and zinc the third option is magnesium manganese copper and nickel the fourth option is manganese copper iron and nickel the correct option for this question is option 1 aluminium magnesium manganese and copper duralumin is a very significant alloy in the iron and steel industry the next question is the 135th question the 135th question is the iupac name of epsom salt is dash so epsom salt is magnesium sulfate heptahydrate that is mgso4.7h2o the first option copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate is cuso4.5h2o so this is uh, called as blue vitriol calcium sulfate dihydrate caso4.2h2o is called as gypsum salt and zinc sulfate is it an so4.7h2o heptahydrate is called as white vitriol because of its color so the correct answer for this question is option 3 The next one, one thirty-sixth question says, ammonium hydroxide in reaction with nitric acid gives ammonium nitrate and water. So they have asked which kind of reaction is this reaction. So generally, ammonium hydroxide is a base, and nitric acid is an acid, and NH four and O three is a salt. Ammonium nitrate is a salt, and H two O is water. A acid and a base will neutralize to give salt and water and this reaction is called neutralization reaction so the correct answer is option 3 precipitation reaction is a reaction at which precipitate is formed here there is no precipitate form so option 1 is wrong option 2 is combustion reaction there is no heat involved in this reaction so it's not a combustion reaction as well the fourth option is decomposition reaction in which one compound will give away two or three products so uh, this is not the case over here so the answer is the third option the 137th question they have said that the symbol assigned for azimuthal quantum number is dash the first option is n which is called as the principal quantum number the next one is l which is called as the azimuthal quantum number s is called as the spin quantum number and m is called as a magnetic quantum number the question asked here is azimuthal quantum number so l is right Uh, so azimuthal quantum number is used uh, for determining the shape of the given orbital and the angular momentum of the given particle so the correct option is answer 2 and the 138th question uh, it says us to pick the odd one out among these the first one shows ethoxy ethane which is an ether uh, and it's an organic compound chi3 is called as tri iodo methane it is also an organic compound uh, it's an iodine substituted organic compound the third one is tri chloro methane and the fourth one is nitrous oxide the first three are organic and the last one is a mineral compound so nitrous oxide which is also called as a laughing gas is the odd one out so the correct option is option 4 and then the 139th question they have asked us to pick out the incorrect pairs the first one is calcium carbonate is soluble in water calcium carbide is grayish black solid calcium disulfide is a white crystalline substance and sodium bicarbonate is highly poisonous and they, they have given uh, two or three answers and they have asked which one is incorrect first one ca calcium carbonate is soluble in water is absolutely wrong it is insoluble in water so the correct option is not a so a is a wrong thing the second one calcium carbide is grayish black solid it's wrong sorry sorry it's right calcium disulfide is white crystalline substance is also right 
Sodium bicarbonate is highly poisonous is also right. So, calcium carbonate is soluble in water is the only thing wrong. So, the answer is option 4, A only. The 140th question says, the chemical used to identify drinkers and alcohol test. The people who are drunk are tested using potassium dichromate in uh, hospitals. Now, this is a very major element, uh, compound used to identify who are drunk. So, the formula is K2Cr2O7. 141st question, they have said, uh, silicon carbide contains coordinate bond, ionic bond, covalent bond and hydrogen bond. So, uh, silicon carbide structure is as follows. Silicon with four carbons surrounding it. Carbon, carbon, carbon and a carbon at the bottom. So, this is a tetrahedral geometry uh, and there are very strong covalent bonds between the silicon and four carbons respectively. So, the correct answer for this question is covalent bond. And then the 142nd question, they have asked, lime water has a pH value of dash. Lime water is calcium hydroxide, CaOH twice. And lime water has a pH value of 12.4. That is, it is a very strong base, 12.4. Uh, so, the options are less than 7, more than 12, uh, 0, equal to 12. Generally, strong bases have a pH value greater than 7 and strong bases have greater than 13 or 12. So, the correct answer is uh, more than 12 since it is greater than 12, 12.4. The 143rd question is... Which of the following is a good oxidizing agent? NaBH4, platinum, palladium and potassium permanganate. NaBH4 is a very strong reducing agent. So, one is not right. The second one is plati platinum. Platinum uh, will give platinum 2 plus by losing its electrons. While pa platinum 2 plus is very less stable. So, we won't consider it to be a very good oxidizing agent. Uh, Palladium is also a reducing agent. Potassium permanganate is a very good oxidizing agent. So, the correct answer is option 4. The 144th question, the number of molecules in 27 grams of water is dash. So, if they are asked to find the number of molecules, we generally write it as the number of molecules of given mass, that is 27 gram of water is the given substance here is equal to, we get the answer by multiplying the number of moles of the given compound, number of moles of H2O water into uh, Avogadro number. We all know the value of Avogadro number that is 6.023 into 10 power 23. So, so, the correct answer will be, the number of moles is calculated as 27, that is the given mass divided by the molecular weight which is 18 for water into 6.023 into 10 power 23. So, by multiplying this, we get the answer as 1, 9.034 into 10 power 23. The 145th question is, uh, compound X decomposes to form compound Y and carbon dioxide gas. Compound Y is used in the manufacture of cement and we are asked to identify the uh, compounds X and Y. So, let us assume calcium oxide will never decompose to give a higher compound. So, option 1 will not uh, come as the answer. Let us try with the second one. We will assume calcium carbonate to be X. So, CaCO3. Uh, it will decompose, so we are giving heat. Uh, generally, ca carbonates will decompose to give their respective oxides and carbon dioxide will be evolved. So, calcium oxide, as they have mentioned, it is used in the manufacture of cement. So, the correct answer will be option 2. That is, X is calcium carbonate and Y is uh, calcium oxide. The 146th question, they have asked for an example for hygroscopic substance. Hydro, hygroscopic substance is a substance uh, which absorbs water, the water particles present in it. So, calcium oxide absorbs water particles present. So, the correct answer will be option 1. While well, these three are deliquescent. Deliquescent. 
they will absorb the they will not absorb the moisture they will give away the moisture thank you